Hi. Hello, 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 my beautiful people. This is your girl Anita from Miss Anita TV. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I know you guys might be wondering, you guys might be like, what the hell is she doing? Guys, I'm dancing, okay? I'm dancing to Batten Nicole. If you know who is Batten Nicole, drop a comment down below. But guys, I had to put it on mute. You know the WhatsApp, right? I have to put it on mute, guys. So it was it was taking me. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys oh my god so ah, let me say a big shout out uh, to my old and new subscribers thank you so so much i really do appreciate all your concern your care to this channel god bless you all as you can see your girl is doing great i hope you all are doing great as well so today i'm having something very delicious for you guys i want to prepare um normally it was the whole idea was to prepare uh, uh, seafood was to prepare uh, okra just with seafood but at the end i realized that i think i need more ingredients so i had to add some meat into it okay guys so today let's jump straight into the business guys so go with me to my kitchen yeah go with me to my kitchen go with me to my kitchen so guys for the sake of the video i decided to prepare everything and now i'm just going to show you some of the things that we need for our seafood okra so we have our snails we have some vegetable i'm gonna be using some vegetable here is uh, spinach we're gonna use spinach we have also our dry fish and we have our shrimps with some big crabs as you can see we have pepper we have some crayfish and we have our okra so guys this um uh, plain okra slash uh, uh, with sea ingredients the plain okra is actually the most easiest okra to prepare because with this one you don't need all this egusi and all that so everything is set like i showed you guys we have everything here ready for the sake of the video because i don't want it to be that long so as you can see everything is here we have our maggi to taste and we have our salt so for some reasons normally i never wanted to add meat in the soup but for some reason i had to add meat because i realized that the okra was so much okay it was so much i don't know the quantity it's gonna give me but i think it's gonna fool that part so i decided to add some good meat so i think it's ready So this is good me. I think it's ready. So in here, um, I just I added a little bit of garlic oil, just very very small, just very small garlic oil. So I'm going to start adding all the ingredients. So first thing I'm gonna add should be my snails. I'm going to put my snails in there. Guys, I think today gonna be wow wow wow. Okay. Oh my god, I don't like seeing this. It's like too much fat, so I'm going to take it out. So guys, oh my god, I'm going to put my crab. The crab uh I already cooked it as you can see, you can see some spices even inside. I cooked it already. Well spice. So as you can see. I just added this in there. So I'm going to put a little bit of crayfish, uh, not too much, since I'm having the the uh, strings. So I'm just gonna put very little, just to have that taste from dry crayfish. You know, we are used to with dry crayfish. So. And again, I'm just gonna add my dry fish. yes guys and i'm going to put my pepper so as you can see i've just added everything at once i've just put everything at once so yes so as you can see i added my snails i added my shrimps i added my shrimp i've i've already put my maggi to taste and a little bit of salt and guys, I have to be very, very careful because even with the 
or snails i added some i put some maggi there before i could boil it and yeah i've just added just a little bit i've added i think two cubes of maggi and i'm just gonna let it cook for some few minutes i still have my vegetable here because vegetable gonna be almost second to the last thing that i would like to put inside so we're just gonna let it cook i'm going to add a little bit of water to see how it looks like okay guys so it looks like this it looks like that yeah so we're just gonna let it cook for like let's say five to between five to ten minutes and then we're gonna come back and see how it looks like okay so guys we are running against time it's getting dark already so i don't know how the video will look like if it's uh, clear okay if it's not then guys you just have to take it like that so i've been waiting for like let's say six to seven minutes so it actually looks like this so our soup looks like this so what i'm going to do you see so you put everything together just taste your maggi and your salt to make sure everything is okay it's intact so as you can see i'm just going to do it very very fast because if not place is gonna get dark and guys you can't see anything so i'm just gonna add a little bit of vegetables let's add our vegetables so we are eating healthy guys we are eating healthy just gonna put our vegetables let's see how it looks like yes i know some people will be like swallowing their saliva hmm? i don't have anybody to help me the little princess is not here now so as i'm putting my vegetable guys i'm just gonna go ahead and add my okra i'm just going ahead now to add my okra guys as you can see the soup is very very green i mean the color is not just so nice it's not natural anymore because places are dark already i'm so disappointed because i did not estimate the weather but yes it came out so so nice guys you need to taste it, it looks it tastes so 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 delicious you don't need to put so much what uh oil just a little bit of oil will do so this is how it came out very very delicious very very delicious so i don't think i'm going to show you guys the end result when it's in the bowl or when we are about to eat but yeah it looks like that very very green i'm going to add some vegetables because i really love vegetables in okra so it looks like this guys but i'm just gonna let it cook let's say for like two minutes because at this point you don't have to leave it so long just a few minutes will do one to two minutes is enough so guys this is the end result of the soup this is how it looks like with enough vegetables enough vegetables it looks so yummy yes my beautiful people so at this point i felt so disappointed with myself because the soup looks so so green i don't know if it looks green now because at this point i was using my ring light and the light from the kitchen so um, i hope you guys enjoy it this way because guys believe me it looks so 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 delicious the color was completely green 
it tastes so 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 good guys so try to use this uh, recipe and tell me how you feel i mean after this i'm just gonna download it with some fufu so guys don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and i will see you all on my next video bye